my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 203 in this lecture we will try to understand geometric intuition of support vector machines the original svm was invented by vapnik support vector machines are they are also referred to as svms are very popular machine learning techniques i can say svms otherwise support vector machines are powerful what is the first feature powerful second one is they are flexible powerful flexible i can say supervised they are basically supervised machine learning supervised machine learning algorithms supervised machine learning algorithms isn't it what is the use what is the purpose of this one is they are used for classification they are used for regression that is basic purpose isn't it i can say i can say like this support vector machines are powerful yet flexible supervised machine learning algorithms which are used for classification and regression but generally they are used in classification problems i will discuss what is this supervised machine learning algorithms in future classes time may just understand svms are basically supervised machine learning algorithms they became extremely popular in the late 1990s they are very very simple i can say support vector machines are very very simple and elegant algorithms before going into mathematical details let's understand the geometric intuition behind support vector machines or i can say svms so imagine that you have some data set let's assume these are bunch of positive points and these are bunch of negative points let's assume this data is linearly separable now i can draw multiple hyperplanes that can separate these positive points from negative points for example i can draw this hyperplane pi1 let me say this hyperplane name is let it be pi1 first hyperplane isn't it pi1 and corresponding normal let me say normal means it must be perpendicular to the plane 90 degrees let me say this is w1 or which is perpendicular to the plane pi1 this hyperplane separate these two set of points similarly if you look at there is other hyperplane let me say this is another hyperplane let it be pi2 which has got some normal if you want you can treat it as another normal with the normal w2 is another normal i can say pi2 that separate these two set of points there is another hyperplane pi3 yes let me say this is my third hyperplane this is pi3 isn't it uh, there is another hyperplane pi3 which also separates both of them there are many many such hyperplane hyperplanes pi that may be pi1 pi2 pi3 pi4 pi5 i can say the, there are many many such hyperplane pi that separates your positive points from your negative points when such a thing happens which of them will you prefer if i take my pi1 just see consider this pi1 if i take my pi1 points are very close just see this point is very close to pi1 even this point is also very close to pi1 
let me repeat if i take by pi 1 points are very close if hyperplane changes slightly just if i change if i move this hyperplane slightly right side this point and this point will get misclassified why because this will go to the negative point sets but they are actually positive points isn't it what we want we want a hyperplane that separate positive points and negative points as far away as possible this is important as far as far away as possible i need as far as far away as possible isn't it i i can say let me repeat we want hyperplane that separate positive points and negative points as far away as possible this is a key idea or key geometric idea of support vector missions so what we we are trying to do is what we are trying to do we are trying to find a hyperplane pi that separate positive points from negative points as widely as possible as widely as widely as possible your hyperplane must separate positive points from negative points as widely as possible as far away as far away as possible these points are important these points are key points let me explain what it means geometrically support let's again draw a bunch of positive points here a bunch of negative points same suppose let's again draw a bunch of points here just for simplicity let's assume i have bunch of positive points and negative points if you notice these positive and negative points just see let, let me draw one particular hyperplane if you notice these positive and negative points are as far away as possible from the hyperplane pi just see this this is hyperplane pi these po these are positive points these are negative points these are positive points i can say these are positive points these are negative points these are as far away uh, negative points i can say let me repeat if you notice these points these positive and uh, negative points are as far away as possible from this hyperplane this is my hyperplane these are as far away as far away as from my hyperplane now let me draw one more hyperplane let me say like this what happens just if you compare pi which one is better i have two hyperplanes here i have two hyperplanes one hyperplane is pi and another hyperplane is pi dash pi is better than pi dash what's the reason this pi this is this one this is my pi this is better than pi dash what's the reason it, it separate these two set of points with wide margin because with respect to pi with respect to this hyperplane these positive points are very very far away as compared to my negative point just compare this hyperplane these points and these points they are far away from this particular uh, particular uh, hyperplane pi compared to which hyperplane compared to pi dash in the case of pi dash just come just understand in the case of pi dash what's happening just see in the case of pi dash they are not as far they are almost they are very near your positive points are nearer to the hyperplane pi dash and your negative points are also nearer to the hyperplane pi dash in the case of pi dash positive and negative points are very very close to the hyperplane if i choose between pi and pi dash pi is a much better choice and such hyperplane which tries to separate here uh, positive points from negative points as much as possible is called margin maximizing let me explain what it means pi is margin maximizing hyperplane this i can say pi is margin maximizing hyperplane what is margin maximization let's understand it geometrically again if i choose my hyperplane pi if i go parallel to this particular hyperplane just say this one Le what am i saying this is my pi i am i am saying this one is 
my uh, better hyperplane optimal hyperplane as it separate points with the uh, with wide or uh, with wide gap isn't it if i go parallel to this hyperplane if i keep on drawing hyperplanes just see if i if i go parallel to this hyperplane i ca i can draw hyperplane like this I, i must keep on drawing hyperplanes till which stage till till hyperplane touches one particular uh, one particular data point what is this positive data point therefore i can say this one as pi plus in similar manner i have to draw hyperplanes parallel to this pi and uh, parallel to pi I, i must keep on drawing hyperplanes parallel to this pi to which stays till it intersect uh, at least one support vector this i can say pi minus I, I, isn't it anyway it's simple if i keep drawing hyperplanes at some point i will intersect my first positive point and this is my first positive first positive point remember remember here i am going parallel to my hyperplane pi i am going i am drawing parallel planes uh, to the pi isn't it let's call this hyperplane is pi plus let me say it's pi plus because it is a hyperplane pi plus is parallel to pi and touches a positive point it is touching a positive point isn't it positive point similarly if i keep going parallel to my pi towards my negative points just uh, towards negative points so i can draw planes towards my negative points this is this becomes my pi negative uh, this this becomes my pi minus above one is pi plus means yes just let me show in next slide otherwise just see this one i can say like this it simplified diagram what it says this is my pi this is my pi plus this is my pi minus isn't it uh, i can say remember since pi plus and pi minus are parallel to pi pi plus and pi minus are also parallel to each other pi plus is parallel to pi and pi minus is parallel to pi therefore pi plus and pi minus are parallel to each other distance i need distance between can i let me say like this otherwise yes Uh, let me write again this one is what is this this is pi this is pi plus this one is pi minus now what i need i need distance distance between what distance between pi plus comma pi minus because they are parallel hyperplanes they have a constant distance between them just see this one is constant distance this distance this they are same distance just take distance between pi plus and pi minus this is constant this is same this is same isn't it the distance is constant it is like train tracks now if the distance is more let call this distance is d i can say d equal to dist of pi plus comma pi minus this distance is also called margin this distance i can say gap even i can say it's a margin it's margin or gap between your positive points and the negative points we want to find a hyperplane pi such that if i go parallel to pi and if i touch a positive point with hyperplane that's what same thing this is pi plus if i keep on drawing hyperplanes parallel to this pi if i touch some some data point in positive data set that is pi plus in similar manner we know how to construct pi minus if i have hyperplane pi minus when touches a first negative point then distance between this pi plus and pi minus as i told you dist of pi plus comma pi minus you must understand how i constructed pi plus and pi minus we want to maximize this gap we want to maximize this gap or this distance or this margin then what happens if this distance is maximized maximized then your positive points and negative points are quite far away from your actual hyperplane capital pi, pi simply i can say pi and the far uh, and, and the farther they are the wider its gap the wider this gap better it is for us so what's svm try to do svm try to find a hyperplane pi that maximizes the margin imagine if i take this hyperplane pi dash just recall our previous uh, this one uh, imagine imagine if i take this hyperplane what is this hyperplane 
if I take this hyperplane pi dash, this is pi dash, let me say this is hyperplane pi dash. Now, the margin is very low. How can I construct? I must construct a line parallel to this particular hyperplane. I will get like this, something like this. I will, I will get something like this. This is my pi plus. This is my pi plus. Again, if I draw one more plane parallel to this one, and it must also passes through these points. Therefore, you you will get you will get very less gap, very less gap, low gap, low margin, isn't it? Imagine if I take this hyperplane pi dash, the margin is very low. My first positive point and my first negative point. If if the margin is high, I can say if the margin is high. If the margin is high, then the chance of misclassification will decrease, which means the generalization error will improve. If margin is high, what happens? If margin, if margin is high, margin I can say gap. If margin is high, then what happens? What happens? You cannot misclassification will decrease. Misclassification. Misclassification choice, misclassification chance, misclassification probability will decrease. This will decrease. If, if, if you have wider gap, if you have large gap, if your margin is high, your misclassification probability will decrease, isn't it? Which means the generalization, which, what does it mean? It means generalization error, generalization error generalization error will improve the generalization error will improve isn't it yes generalization error will improve that's very very important as margin increases as margin increases let me write like this as margin as margin increases as margin increases generalization accuracy as the margin increases the generalization accuracy generalization generalization accuracy will increase generalization accuracy accuracy will accuracy will increase isn't it generalization accuracy will what is generalization accuracy means Ac accuracy what is generalization uh, generalization accuracy means accuracy on unseen data points in the future will improve margin is very very interesting idea all svms try to do try to do maximize the margin now let's take one or more uh, uh, all svms try to uh, maximize the margin now let's take one or more interesting idea uh, let's take uh, one more uh, sorry let's take one more interesting idea called support vector let me explain what is support vector it's very very simple idea in my next lecture i will explain what is the support vector this this diagram itself says this is one support vector this is support vector this is support vector anyway i will discuss about support vectors in my next lecture that is in lecture number 204 just go through this lecture this lecture introduced uh, introducing about support vector missions if you have any difficulty just keep a comment thank you very much